Okay. Big congratulations. How are you feeling tonight? Elated. I, I feel really good about it. Uh, we had a really good comprehensive campaign. Uh, we touched an awful lot of people across the entire ward. Um, and, and I think we, we, we got our message across. This is a big win. You're unseating an incumbent here in this election. Yeah, this is the second time I've unseated an incumbent in Ward 9. Um, there was such tremendous frustration in the ward about the lack of infrastructure, about the condition of the roads and sidewalks. And I think it was, was exasperated by such significant commercial and residential development. So lots of new development, but you still have a two-lane Rymel Road with no sidewalks. And people just didn't understand it, and they were angry about it. And, and so, um, you know, we have a lot of work to do to fix that. The contentious topic of the LRT, how do you feel about it and the division it's made on council? I can tell you that in 2014, I was opposed to it, and I ran a campaign on that. I can tell you in Ward 9 this time, there was more frustration and anger about LRT this time than the last time. Uh, they, they truly are opposed to it, and I think the challenge is that our transit system is failing them in Ward 9. Uh, it's not connective, it, it is certainly not dependable, and it's not convenient. And so when they're seeing a billion dollars being spent on LRT, when the rest of the transit system is not working, they're just kind of shaking their head and saying, what are you doing? And in the meantime, they're driving down roads that have not been upgraded in decades, uh, and, and, and there's anger about it. What's next for you? What's next for Ward 9? Um, first thing we'll be doing is holding a number of consultation meetings, public meetings with the residents. Uh, the Alfreda growth area was a huge issue. Um, the city's proposing 80,000 new residents in Upper Stony Creek, and people are a little bit concerned about that, especially since they were not consulted. Um, the consultation was really in the rural area and not into the urban area uh, where they would be dealing with the traffic. And so we need to slow that process down. We need to make sure that they've done it correctly and that it is an iterative process where each study feeds into the other one. Um, they were doing them on a parallel track and I can't support that. We need to make sure that we're doing our homework, but more importantly, we need to consult the public. They need to be a part of this process.